that there were some objections to this paper raised at the previous meeting. I believe that the, those who had questions, there has been a resolution to those questions. I believe that it would be the will of council tonight to endorse this sort of front plan. However, if there's anyone here that wishes to speak in opposition to it, please come forward. Is there anyone who wishes to speak in favor? Please come forward. Director of Seating Virginia. I know that uh, I've been told that there's um, unanimous support for this, but I thought it was important that you see how many people showed up to um, to speak on the behalf of this issue. People were prepared, they showed up, and they've been getting emails. It really is important. We want our front plan to pass the way it came from Planning Commission, and I would just ask everyone here who showed up to speak to stand up now. Thank you, thank you all of you for coming and thank you for supporting this plan. Thank so you. you don't need to hear from us, that's fine, but we're happy to talk to you too. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, thank you very much. Good evening, my name is Amy Swartz and I'm from the Historic Richmond Foundation. I'm the Director of Preservation and I'm here to thank you and the members of the City Planning Commission for the hard work that you've done to craft the riverfront plan. This plan leads our city, now known as the best river town in the U.S. When visitors come to tour Richmond, they will continue to have the ability to look upriver as William Byrd did when he named it. Richmond's historic places distinguish this city and can work harmoniously with its growth. Tonight, I urge you to vote to adopt the riverfront plan with no further delay. Two years of hard work and discussion have resulted in a workable solution to enhance Richmond's waterfront while preserving its historic places. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Adrian Toll with the James River Association. Thank you for taking the time to hear my comments this evening. Um, I look forward to working with the city on the pivotal plan, um, the James. Um, has helped Richmond to be recognized as the best river town, and we look forward to partnering with you in the future. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Brandon Montillo. I'm a city resident. I live near Forest Hill Park and Reed Creek on Riverside Drive, and I actively use the James River Park system. I want you to know that my neighbors and I encourage you to approve the current riverfront plan. I realize that it's more than just wants and needs of riverfront dwellers but I believe the intent of the plan is sound. I would hope that the benefits of the proposed plan to city residents, county neighbors, and travelers to Richmond would not go ignored by this council. I've read the proposal, and from what I could understand, uh, the plan wants to connect the north side and south side of the river for different modes of transportation, which is key to being a tier one city. Maximize the opportunities of the city's number one resource, creating opportunities for sporting events, exercise, education, and beautification and refocus attention to the city's master plan. As I'm sure you know, the James River used to be and still is the lifeblood of this town. For too long, we've overlooked and neglected the number one natural resource that sets this town apart from other cities and counties across the nation. We've been on magazine covers, won awards, hosted international competition, and been featured online in millions for the asset that Richmonders take for granted. Other cities would die to have our skyline. While I admit I don't know the ins and outs of real estate development, I do know that we currently underutilize a huge opportunity that would benefit all the city's residents. Please don't let this plan go to waste. Thanks. Thank you. And before I bring it back to council, I want to thank all those once again who came here to speak to this uh, plan and also all of those who participated in bringing this plan together. And before I bring it all the way back to council, Mr. Kirk, please, would you read? Into the record, this paper. Item number 27 is Ordinance Number 2012 2022 to adopt an amendment to the master plan for the city of Richmond 
by the city, that was adopted by the city council on January 8, 2001, to be known as the Richmond Riverfront Plan. Thank you. I'm now going to bring it back to the council for discussion. Mr. Jewell? I, I just want to say that the, uh, the emails have come in a flourish. Uh, we appreciate your input. It's an important plan. Uh, I was in San, San Antonio not too long ago. And, uh, they've got their river running right through their town. It's more like a creek. We've got this huge expanse of river, which explains the huge expanse of concern and input. Um, a lot can be done with it. Uh, now with a plan, a lot will be done with it. Uh, but it cannot be done uh, without commercial uh, development as well. And I think this plan accommodates both, both concerns. Um, uh, their river, their creek, is built up on both sides by commercial development. Um, we're blessed to have one too big for them to pull that one off here. Uh, and so uh, I'm just gratified that so many people worked so hard to get us here. Uh, good plan. It will do us all in good speed for generations to come. And, and uh, I, I bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jewell. The comments? Okay. Madam Clerk, call the question. Council is voting on item number 27, orders from 2012-202. Mr. Connor? Aye. Mr. Sanders? Aye. Mr. Hilbert? Aye. Vice President Robertson? Aye. Mr. Jewell? Aye. Ms. Newbill? Aye. Mr. Crandall? Aye. Mr. Tyler? Aye. President Grossman? Aye. That paper has been adopted. Thank you. Our next uh, paper that we're going to take is paper number uh, 29. Oh, four. <coughs> Thank you. 